Okay, everybody, let's uh, get to this. Got Mega Squirt, MS2 version, set up and delivered, put together, made for my 4G63. <laughs> g 63 does not come with a plug-and-play kit, so they give you the 37-pin wire harness and the instructions and a gem stem. I'm not getting into that in this video. So it comes with the IAT that I ordered, a driver to run the uh, USB to DV9 port that goes in over here, USB extension. So my idea is to use this and the wire harness and integrate it into this by desoldering this plug and running all the wires into the leads off of this. Using this, I got from a plastic uh, place, tap plastic, and just some ABS. Cut it with scissors really easy or a razor blade. Um, I didn't need no poly... Uh, any polycarbonate or anything that tough. Oh, they've encased him in carbonite. He should be quite well protected. If he survived the freezing process, that is. Well, Calrissian, did he survive? Yes, he's alive. I just want to make a shroud over this. And you stay tuned and I'll show you what I did and wire for wire in the diagrams because when you first open this box that you get you it's kind of very daunting uh you want to make all this which can feel like this and you want to take this and this and just make it feel like this so to break up all the confusion follow the wire diagrams and uh stay tuned and we hopefully when i get it all done It'll wire up and be good. Also, I got to innovate the M MXT or MTXL wideband to switch out my old wideband system, which was a Z-Tronics, to the, to the Innovate Knowledge's horsepower. The wire is brand new wideband sensor. My old wideband sensor is a... Uh, completely burnt out so that just holds off to the side matter of fact i don't even need it up here i've introduced it so its debut of the video is uh expired that's another video of me hooking that up if anybody's interested hit the like and i'll show me wiring that into the mega squared as well so as i mentioned stay tuned and wire for wire i will desolder this i went to the store and grabbed some desoldering wick or super wick it's called and this is to take the solder out got a solder gun tip cleaner and i just went to the harby freight and got me one of them cheapy deepies cheapo depot uh solder soldering gun they run a higher voltage so they get hot faster and i prefer a gun over a soldering uh pin or the smaller ones the smaller ones are good when you have real compact tight spots to get into but generally speaking just to hold the gun and get it done um i have some i got some heat shrink tube i got another kit heat shrinking tubes assorted sizes so I can make all my soldering contacts on these lead pins that come out and I'll be able to bend them straight solder the wire from the mega squirt to it heat shrink it and see if it makes it work all right let's do this okay everybody let's see what I can do move everything out the way Never done this before, so this is a dry run with everybody in view. Let's see.
Cobra. Anheuser Busch brewed it to give cold malt liquor satisfaction. King Cobra. Don't let the smooth taste fool you. There we go. <sighs> Very long and arduous trip. It's amazing how these ever have any faults. How well soldered they're they are uh they didn't want to let go so too bad the fill caps are just bad but other than that let's see what we can do you know i've spent all that time doing this bend these straight clean off the off all the gunk clip them i don't even gotta clean half of those long ones off i'll clip them all the uh to equal length bend the shorter ones straight make them all nice and uniform and figure out which pin outs I need to make this wire harness go into it so stay tuned part two